Have you checked your BP at home and it's 124.78? Perfect. Then you go to the clinic and bam, it's 145.90. And your doctor says, this is high blood pressure. You're not worried. Do I have high BP or not? Your new elite smartwatch tells you your BP is fine. While your home machine says you are a walking time bomb. Wait, which one is correct? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Dr. Ameya Amonkar and in this episode of HG CardioWise, we are tackling one of the most common and most misunderstood questions I hear from patients. Can your blood pressure reading lie to you? And the answer is yes. If you are relying on the wrong reading, you might either miss silent damage or panic for no reason. Stay with me because by the end of this video, you will know exactly which reading to trust and how to get it right every time. Now, here's the first truth you need to know. Your blood pressure isn't a number, it's a rhythm. It changes every few minutes like your heartbeat, your mood or your toddler's dinner choices. Now let's look at some of the everyday BP influencers. Had a strong coffee, it may go up. Slept poorly, it might be elevated. Have a full bladder, your BP can rise. Just walked into the clinic in a rush, it can be an instant spike. Is your room very cold or you're talking while it's being measured? even that can raise your blood pressure. I've seen patients run from the parking lot, sweating and anxious, and we get a BP of 160. We ask them to sit quietly for five minutes, and take a few deep breaths, and the repeat reading, 132. So was the first reading wrong? Not really, it was just reacting to real life. It's like checking your weight after you had your dinner, and then declaring I've gained one kilo today. See, one BP reading is like one blurry photo from a movie. You wouldn't rate an entire film based on a random freeze frame, right? Blood pressure works the same way. It's a moving story, not a fixed headline. That's why as a cardiologist, I never jump to conclusions based on one single reading. We look for patterns, not panic points. Trends tell the real story and we'll soon show you how to track it like a pro. Let's bust some myths now. Now here are the top five reasons why your BP reading might be completely misleading even if your BP machine is brand new and super fancy. First is white coat hypertension. Now you're anxious in the clinic, your doctor's rushing, your mind's racing, and your reading is 150 by 95. You've seen patients who walk in calm and leave diagnosed with blood pressure. Now white coat hypertension affects 15 to 30% of patients. That's almost one in four patients being misdiagnosed. And many are started on meds that they even might not need unless confirmed with home BP monitoring or ABPM. The second cause, wrong cuff size. See your BP cuff should fit your upper arm like a tailored shirt. It's too tight and the reading is falsely high. Too loose and it misses the real value. Now I see many people using standard cuffs even with large arms. The result, falsely high readings and unnecessary panic. So measure your arm circumference and match it with the cuff size chart. I have mentioned that in the description box. Now this can help you get the right cuff size for your device. Third cause, wrong positioning. Now if your arm is dangling like a fruit basket or you're half lying like it's Netflix time, your BP will lie. Just like bad posture gives back pain, bad BP posture gives false readings. So no slouching like a teenage scrolling uh, Instagram. Sit straight, sit comfortably, legs uncrossed, support your back, Rest your arm on a table at the level of the heart. Use a pillow if necessary. No talking, no distractions. Treat it like meditation and not multitasking. A fourth common cause is not resting before measuring. You just ran up the stairs or fought with your teen over screen time, then sat down and took a BP reading. That's not blood pressure, that's battle pressure. Wait at least five minutes in a calm, quiet space. No talking, no TV, and please no chai or coffee just before the reading. We want to measure your resting BP, not your reaction to the day's drama. The fifth cause, taking only one reading. Now, that's a trap. See, taking a single reading is like checking your weight once on your birthday after the cake. Take two readings, one minute apart. Do this twice a day for at least a week. Then calculate the average. We often use this average of multiple readings taken over one or two weeks when we see someone with high readings for the first time. This gives us the true pattern and that's what guides treatment, not random spikes. Now, let me uh, give you a real world example. I had a patient aged 42, no other risk factors. BP in the clinic was 
I said, let's check over at home. Home BP readings over seven days. The average was 126 by 78. So no medication needed, just stress management and some salt tweaks. So you see, it's not just about the machine. It's about the method and the context. A small mistake in how you measure can lead to a big mistake in how we treat. So if your BP reading seems suspicious, don't jump to conclusions. Fix the technique first and then we'll talk about the treatment. Now let me tell you about a sneaky villain in the BP story. That's mast hypertension. Now this is when your BP appears perfectly normal in the clinic, but at home it's misbehaving like a teenager with no supervision. Possibly in the clinic, it's calm, quiet, there's a smiling nurse, maybe soft music playing. At home, your morning rush, traffic tension, and your kid yelling, Mama, Wi-Fi nahi chal raha hai. That's when the real pressure shows up. Mast hypertension affects 10 to 20% of people, and many don't know they have it. It's dangerous because it doesn't get diagnosed. No symptoms, no warning, but silently causing your heart, brain, and kidney damage over the years. It's most common in younger people, people with high stress jobs, smokers, and those with borderline clinic readings. So how do we catch it? This is where ABPM or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring comes in. Now it's a small device that you wear for 24 hours. It checks your blood pressure every 15 to 30 minutes through the day and at night, at home, at work, even during sleep, without bias and without drama. This gives us a real world movie of your BP, not a still photo. And trust me, that movie is much more honest. ABPM is considered the gold standard for diagnosing hypertension. It predicts cardiovascular risk better than the office BP readings. And there's even a pattern called the non-dipping BP, where your BP doesn't fall during sleep like it should. Now, this too is a red flag, but you would never know it without doing an ABPM. So if you have high BP at home or borderline readings at the clinic, or you're not responding to medications the way we expect to, an ABPM becomes essential. Bottom line, if your clinic reading says normal, but it, life feels like a BP triggering roller coaster, don't be fooled. Masked hypertension is like an actor who behaves well on camera and goes rogue backstage. So yes, your BP reading might be lying to you, but that doesn't mean you need to panic. It means you need perspective. You've seen how stress, poor technique, wrong devices, even your doctor's coat can influence your readings. But now you know better, you know it's not about one number, it's about the bigger picture. High BP isn't always visible and normal BP isn't always safe. That's why we use patterns, not panic to guide treatment. Tools like home BP monitoring and ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, when used correctly, can change everything. Which brings us to the next big question. Are you measuring your BP correctly? because the right device with the wrong technique is still wrong. In our next episode, are you measuring your blood pressure correctly? Most people get it wrong. I'll walk you through which home BP monitors are reliable, how oscillometric machines actually work, the seven step technique to get accurate readings, how often to calibrate your device and how to turn your readings into real insight and not confusion. So hit subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss the next episode. Share this video with someone who you think needs clarity about their BP readings and not more confusion. Because here at Edgy Cardiowise, we don't just treat numbers, we treat the person behind them. Goodbye and take care.